What's up guys, it's Lucid Offer here today with another video. And today we're actually gonna be talking about Kenshi 2 and things we want better in Kenshi 2. Kind of like a Kenshi 2 wish list. But before we even get started, remember to hit that sub button. We're on our way to 1k and we're almost 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 there you know and also i do have a discord you know i do take video ideas and i just chat to people there too so just check that out in the link in the description below but without further ado let's get into our wish list for kenji 2 now have you guys ever wished for something on a christmas list of some sort and you know like that's the only thing you want but then you end up getting something that you don't want that that's that's like the worst feeling you can get like you know like the thought matters but that's the worst feeling you can get and that's what i don't want with kenji 2 so Devs, if you're out there listening or watching this video somehow because, I don't know, I think you guys are normal people, but I don't know if devs watch videos on their own, like, stuff or st anything. I don't I don't know. But if you're watching, guys, don't give us that feeling, please. We, we love you, and we love your games, and we'll always support them, but please don't give us that feeling. Anyways, let's go into the first thing that a lot of people from the community tend to want, which is taming animals. Um, hatching eggs and breeding now taming animals that that one's a little bit of a whole entire like you know like arc type of thing for me because you know if you ever played arc taming animals is one of like the longest processes and also in um conan exiles too and you know like just just overall taming it's like it's fun and all but like how would they you know like how would you guys want to like implement taming animals into kenshi 2 for me per pretty much it'd be you'd have to knock out the animal or have to knock out a pup or steal a pup from like pretty much its home and raise it as your own and you know care for it like maybe like a couple days it'll be hostile towards you like you know while it's still growing up but once it hits like its teenager years and adult years it becomes loyal to you and maybe there is a loyal meter or something like that that you can dictate it on and you have to keep it in a, like a pen or something until it becomes loyal enough for you to use and maybe when you know just maybe when people come to raid you they might take your animal that you you're trying to tame and they might go and steal it and sell it for you know some money or harvest it now eggs eggs is uh, something that's also pretty nice because if you think about it if you steal a beak thing egg why, why, why is the only option you can eat it? What if you can heat it up or incubate it to pretty much hatch? And, you know, you can raise the baby like that. Like, those ones, I, I, I do agree with. You know, like, you should be able to hatch eggs and stuff and be able to, you know, get this stuff. And breeding is also another one that I really do agree with. Like, you should be able to breed your pack bulls and, or, like, you know, your gurus or goats or anything that you guys pretty much want. Like, you guys should be able to breed them normally and just do that you know and it should be just simple and you should just be able to automatically have the animal anyways number two on our wish list number number two is transportation overseas and mounts so like there is no mounts at all in kenshi like no mounts at all and there's no sense of tra transportation either now mounts we should probably get some because I think, you know, traversing Kenshi like a little bit faster is something that would be nice. Especially if you can ride on a cage beast. Like, what what is like that? You know, like, you should be able to ride on an animal of that magnitude, you know? And maybe on Gurus too, or even Pack Bulls, like, you should be able to ride on them. And, you know, maybe even some land transportation will like... You know, like, it's hard to believe that there isn't a wheel invented in Kenshi. Actually, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to believe. But, come on, like, nobody's come up with the circle that you know goes down like something like that like imagine making like carriages or something like transportation that you can have where you can carry like a movable base pretty much like think of a like think of something like that like that would be like such a huge upgrade to the game that a lot of people would probably love like you know like saying you have a carriage and that's like your entire base pretty much is in there and like you can move it like pretty much live like a nomad that's that's what i mean just live like a nomad anyways as far as ships go, I think you should be able to use ships to tra traverse along the coast, or if you have a city on the coast, you know, be able to trade with, like, using ships or something like that. The, I'll, I'll touch back on that, you know, trading thing, but, you know, boats would be pretty nice, but come on, let's be real here. There are chances are we're not getting boats. Anyways, let's go on to the third thing on our list, which is siege weapons. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people... I've been saying that we need siege weapons and you know they could be trebuchets catapults shit like that you know like I think trebuchets and catapults are the same I'm an idiot okay we're not editing that out so you guys can see how much of an idiot I am anyways you know siege weapons overall would be nice because 
you know, like you just will run up into a town and just knock out the leader and you just kidnap him and pretty much shit will hit the fan and everybody will just leave. Like, you know, like some siege weapons would be nice, you know, like maybe like make an entire event out of the thing where you go into like some type of cinematic or something, you know, just something, you know, like something to like do siege weapons with because I feel like right now, like, you know, if you can launch catapults or something like that into the city, like it'd be nice, you know, like pretty much like destroying the city and then you know when you come back again it's all rebuilt up and you know the new faction is there anyways let's talk about the fourth thing which is establishing trade routes trade routes alliances and trading with other cities so now a lot of things that a lot of people have been wanting for i think a long long time in regular kenshi was like you know when you start up your own town you should be able to trade with all these other cities and you know declare yourself as an actual self faction but it's like all these other factions just look at you like eh you know like you're just of the same like place and you know they don't really look at you as a faction if you get what I'm trying to say and and I'm just like you know I'm trying to say that like in the game it feels like your faction is really relevant it's just like what you do you know and what you do is really just run around and collect bounties and everything and that's the thing though like you, they don't look at you like a, as if you're a faction like it'd be nice if you st like you start up your own faction start up your own city and you know you can go to another city town leader and ask him for trade and everything or you can go to like you know the western hive and get them to come into your town and actually have like people that will come to you and say is it fine if we move in and just have npcs move into your city and like you can know you can mark buildings or something for like public residentials so people will just move in and they'll pay like a tax or something if you have a tax building like you know like there's so many things that you could do with that that are nice and then also setting up alliances so it means you know like say you start up your own faction like your own city like maybe you have a city or two and you want to ally up with the Sheik or the holy nation or the uc whoever is around at that time when the game comes out because the game is coming out and it's gonna supposed to be like a prequel to Kenshi. It's like supposed to take place in the past time. Like uh, I think it's like 900 years or something, something around there. Um, don't quote me on that one. But you know, it's it's over there. You know, like it would be nice to set up alliances with you know all these other factions. Anyways, the fifth thing that we'd like to talk about is reoccurring NPCs, faction alignments, and also bounties. So you know, there these are like the kind of like three that are a little underrated but can really make or break a game like if you have a reoccurring npc you know like or npcs it will help a lot with like you know getting a little bit more attached to the game and like actually having some people and what i mean by reoccurring npcs is like you know maybe some enemies that attack you at the start and then like you know you end up seeing them down you know some type of line like you know something like that where you just see the same people like that were being assholes to you and stuff it's not just you know completely random anyways faction alignments um you know i think this one is really just another important one like you can't be a uc citizen if you're like a holy nation like supportist or something like that like they'll hate you or something like you know you can't be a hundred with the holy nation and be at zero with the uc like it's either one or the other you're either at a hundred plus or a hundred minus with you know either place or vice versa and bounty bounty like hunting wise you know like it's it's nice but i feel like the once our posters and everything is a little bit too vague like just just too too vague and i feel like you know maybe like when you pick up a bounty you should be able to go to somebody who's trying to track the bounty before you and he gives you some better clues to where it is and you know actually points you in a direction kind of like a little bit more of a quest line type of thing and you know something that doesn't get repetitive but like you know just lets you like know where some people are but honestly that is the things that we want better in kenshi 2 hopefully you guys did enjoy remember to leave a like subscribe do all that fun stuff we're on our road to 1k 1000 guys 1000 we're almost there we're about 50 away or so so hopefully you guys did enjoy peace